woman. If I beat you, if I beat you, you will not want to suffer. Come on. Hey, you will beat me. You will do. Leave me. Leave me. You didn't, you didn't tell me you want to be coming back. Sorry? Lotana, aren't you tired? No, seriously, I, aren't you? See, I am not just in the mood to talk about any problem. Huh? What is it? Lotana, our marriage is falling apart day by day. We are supposed to be husband and wife, yet we live like flatmates in this house. Shouldn't we talk about it? Excuse me, stop it. You're nagging me to hell. Are you, are you, are you daft? At least you're educated to know that I'm not in the mood to talk about this. What is it? If you don't mind, I have some other things to do. this morning looking for you. My darling, you are not looking bright at all today. What is the problem? What is it again? Seriously. I am tired. I am even more tired complaining to you all the time. I don't know what else to do. Have you tried to find out what his grievances are? My dear, we haven't been talking. As a matter of fact, we are more like flatmates than husband and wife. 
Let's get serious. I don't want to assume anything, but you have to talk to him. Make him understand I don't like the way he's treating you. It seems you've not been listening to me. How do I have a conversation with someone that does not clearly give me a listening ear? Haven't you been listening to me either? He calls me out of needs. He bullies me. He calls me a fool. He daft me. <sighs> Marriage. You have to take it easy. Okay? You know, I passed through similar thing with my husband not long ago. But we made up. We are good now. The only thing that does not have a solution is death. Okay? I'm finished. I don't even know why life is treating me this way. I'm so shattered. Like, I'm, I'm heartbroken. God. It's okay. Everything will be fine, okay? Linda, how are you? I'm not fine. Really? <laughs> and who is this? My other sister. Huh? Oh. So you are the man. Anyway. Well, I'm not here for this. Linda, tell him what you told me. <laughs> You're pregnant. I remember the last time I met you a virgin. Oh. Did you leave her a virgin? Oh. Did you? I wanted to be with her, but she refused. She left. And I left. Oh, you left? And you left her with pregnancy, obviously. Seriously? <laughs> yes. I'm carrying your child. I want you to go bring back my kids. I mean, they've stayed long enough there. I, I, I've missed them. I want to see them. Mm. Hey, GK, why do you want them back? Eh? Why do you always say unreasonable things? Why? You say me wanting to see my kids is unreasonable mm -hmm. to you. Mm -hmm. They are my kids. I want to see them. Please. This is not what you're supposed to be saying. Eh? You're supposed to be thinking about is how to fix yourself. Fix yourself because men looking at you, you've lost it. You've lost hope in your own self. So fix yourself first. How do I fix myself when all you do is cheat on me? Cheat on me with another man under my roof. Then fix yourself. Fix yourself and stop telling me to bring back the kids you can take care of. I give you one week. I give you one week to bring back my kids. After one week, you'll be responsible for what I will do to you. You go that in. Who? Who can use you? You give me one week. Hey, GK. You're the one warning me. Eh? Hey, GK, I can see you're stupid. I can see you're mad. You have mental issue, and very soon you will go to market dancing naked. I'm a mawa ganja na odi kisi adrogi ma. Chimiki me. You want to beat me? Hey! This chick is like you've forgotten. Ujumwa. Obiano chie. Eh? I will kill you. I will kill you. Hey, chick, black eyed. 
Pilia. Stop speaking English. Get my Pilia. You. Oh, yeah, now. I'll kill you. Bring out your own. Bring. Um, good day, madam. Good day, Vatani. How are you? Um, fine, madam. Um, madam, there is something I feel you should know. What is it? Um, I pray you will understand it. Oh, come on, Fatai. I don't know you as a man who is reckless with words. So just bring it on. Go straight to the point. Uh, madam, um, it's, it's about your husband. My husband? I what about just, him? I just... You see, I think it's high time you started thinking about building your empire, doing your businesses and investments away from your husband. Yes, just start getting your own private properties. What are you talking about? I mean, I don't understand. You see, madam, in recent times, I've noticed your husband has started venturing into some businesses I feel you're not aware of. Did you realize you're planting a seed of discord between a husband and wife? Do you? Madam, I don't mean it that way. You see, I just feel that your husband is beginning to get jealous or feel intimidated because of your thriving job. And I think you should just do some things like get some properties of your own without his notice. I mean well for your family. I mean well for you. I'm here because I care about you. You know, I can't even believe this is coming from you. I don't like it when people with politic lives care about me this way. Can you do me a favor? Please, darling. The next time you see or hear things about my husband and you know it's going to make me very angry, you're not happy, can you not tell me about it? It's fine. It's fine, madam. I'm sorry. My bad. I'm sorry. Thank you so much for understanding. Now, please make yourself useful and go back to your office. All right, it's fine. I, I mean no harm, actually. Yeah. We'll be needing some money to get rid of these shades. What? How come such a thing enters your mind in the first place? You are a married man. I don't want to be a second wife. My dear, I've been married for 10 years now and I need a child. You don't know how much I need that child. Uh -huh. Well, that is your family's problem. I don't see where my sister fall into this picture you're talking about. Well, I still insist. I'm taking out that child. Just listen to yourself. Would you want your sister to abort the child? Is that how much you love her? How dare you? How dare you sit here and question me how much I love my sister? She is someone's child. She cannot carry this pregnancy and that is it. Uh, see, um, what has happened, has happened. So we should be discussing the way forward now. Huh. Mr. Lotana, did you just say the way forward? Mm -hmm. The only way forward I know is to get rid of that thing in there. No, you won't do that. Nobody will abort my child. Mm -hmm. Nobody will abort your child, you said. Well? Didn't you realize you're a married man when you were going to her unprotected? Didn't you realize you're a married man when you were having an unprotected sex? Vera, whatever you call yourself, do not allow the devil to use you against my joy. Hmm? Me? Vera? If there is anyone who is allowing the devil to use him, it's absolutely you. 
You are the one. You know what? I need you to give me that money now because I, with the way things are going, I might be forced to do something nasty. Um, I'm not going to allow you to do that. And um, let's take this discussion outside this house. Yeah. Come on, shut if up. If I yeah, sound yeah. you, if I was you. Don't worry, her, please. She's carrying my child. Please, stay out of this. Stay out of this. Fatai doesn't speak empty words. What could make him to come tell me things like this? My husband has been treating me badly lately. But if I listen to this, it will scatter my home the more. Hmm. But Barrister Fatai has no reason to lie to me. How will my husband be spending money outside my knowledge? I need to check something right now. I need to. Mom, yeah. this is from the manager. Oh, really? Okay, I'll see to it later. Okay. okay. Patience is a vision. does not only come from devil, it's a devil inside. So please take away worry from your life Cause patience does It be father's fault No one on devil do you know It's better than the angel you never see I'm in faith in the fall You don't fall now Don't allow them to use you against yourself. Be wise. I could continue not leave any tougher. Don't be a stubborn fly that's full of scars to the grave. Madam, welcome. Thank you. Welcome, madam. Welcome. Welcome, madam. Madam, I need to hear you from my car. Nothing at all. Put us in trouble. Put us in trouble. Certain decisions. We take. We do. If you don't see, prove a no reenter this family. Imagine the king. The king will put a full money for my pocket. Where did it came on here? It's too bad. It can't be better than that. In fact, I mean, me now for my village. Now, I got a good push myself for my garage. Hey, go to bed. I beg, I see the back here again. Now that enemy come for a very got a good push myself for my garage. Man, it's in my rear. It's too my pocket instead of right. Go to bed. I beg you, I beg you. Okay. Always fight what you can be what you can win for God. Win what you can't win for God. So be brave. Be brave. Fight what you can win. Be brave. Lieutenant, I cannot find the documents to the three portions of land that we bought last year. What portion of land are you talking about? 
outcome of it. Our portion of land. Oh, please, you don't give me that pretentious look. I can't remember buying any portion of land in your name. Yes, because the portion of land I bought last year, I've taken the document to a safer place. How did we get here? How did we get to this place? It's not conducive for me. What happened to us? We used to be the sweetest of couples. People looked up to us. We helped each other grow to where we are today. And here you are treating me like this. Please, do not let those memories die in your mind, I beg of you. How would you want the sweetest of memory you're talking about to be when there is no child? You can't even give us a child. At least one. I deserve it. So you're doing all this? Because I am yet to give you a child. Lutana, you are treating me like this because I do not have a child. You've not given me any child. What's the need of acquiring all these properties and money and all that without a child? What's the need? Please, please, allow me and let me be. Stop disturbing me, please. rubbish in your womb. I'm scared. You're scared? Yes. 
Didn't I just say you're scared? Yes. Didn't you know you'll be scared of abortion when you're busy opening your legs for a married man that will not marry you? Yes. Linda. Calm down. Sister. Linda. Sister. Where did I go wrong? I pleaded with you. I begged you to stay calm, but no. You didn't listen to me. You were busy running from one man to the other. Just look at your life. Sister, okay, please, please. Can I ask one small, small question? Small thing, please go with me now. Go and show me the place. I, I don't know anything. Me, go with you over my dead body. I am not going to, to the hospital with you. Go there and get rid of this nonsense you call, call a pregnancy. Now nah, please, is there no other option? Like, nothing else to do? No other option? Mm. There is. Yes, there is. That means getting married to the married man that got you pregnant. Becoming a second wife. That is the only option. But you know what? News flash. I will never, over my dead body, will I allow my sister Become a second wife. Linda, leave me alone. Please, 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 leave me alone. No, I want to show me the place. I don't know anywhere. I'll send the address to your phone. Go to that hospital and get rid of this thing. Until then, don't you dare dial my number. Do you hear me? No, I'll dial your number. Don't dial my number. I'll dial your 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 number. Seriously, my husband has decided to be a ton in my flesh. What has he done again this time? The question is, what has he not done? Can you believe he went ahead and sold our piece of land, our portion of land? He knows how we got that land together. He sold it and up to date, he has not deemed it fit to tell me what he did with that money. Did you confront him because I think he deserves to know? Of course, trust your friend. I confronted him. And what he told me shook me down to my spine. And what was his response? That it is his land. He has the right to sell whatever land he wants to. I think I am beginning to lose my husband to another woman. Hey! But seriously. Hey! Stop being negative. Even if it seems so. You have to stop being negative. All you have to do is pray. Remember, the oath you took with your husband before God. So pray to God to take over your home. Yes. I have been praying for the rebosha and everything. I have been doing all those speaking in tongues for my husband. All the sleepless out of fasting. Yet nothing happened. You have to continue praying because you know the reason he's doing this. You know why he's doing it. Okay. Let God Take charge of your home and everything will change for good. Yes. You see, I called you out here to tell you that I'm sorry for everything. Okay? I called you out here so you can rub my as much of people now that your sister is not here. I want us to talk and rub minds like adults. I don't think I have anything to discuss with you anymore. You are married. Yes, I'm married. But let me remind you something. The day I met you, you were homeless. You told me how your sister was maltreating you. And I decided to pick you and help you immediately. Yeah, I helped you. I remember all that. 
And I thank you for rendering a helping hand to me. Though you started asking for a payback. No, no, no. I never did. I only got attracted to you. Lie. Fat lie. You should be attracted to your wife only. But no. You disturbed me till you took my virginity and got me pregnant. I am deeply sorry about that. I'm so, so sorry. If you are going to keep that baby for me, I am going to take care of you and the baby to any length you want. You know, before now, I was hopeless. But he came into my life and then um, restored my hope again. Terminating that baby will be stabbing me in the heart. And I will not survive it. I might not be able to survive it. So please, allow God to use you wipe my tears and make me a man. Please. Please. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, you're such a naughty boy. <laughs> you know, the way you flamed me, the way you great Khalid me, the way you Josie me, the way you raised my legs. Oh my goodness. The way you carried me is something else. I really love it. <laughs> You're so strong. Yes. <laughs> Sweetheart, I just can't wait to have you again. You're so sweet. Like, like, oh, That again is what will kill you. And as a matter of fact, as the two of you are planning to have it again, you will jam and never separate. What is wrong with you? You are a married woman for God's sake. Just see what you're doing. No, deny this one now. I caught you. I heard everything. Deny it. That's the number one sign of a useless husband. You're just useless. You don't have any work to do. That's why you are is dropping on my conversation. What is wrong with you? He's dropping. Yes. He's dropping on your conversation. You're my wife. And you're doing this in me. Look, you will not use this phone in this house. Again, I swear. <laughs> you lie honestly. Says who? You? Lotana, what's going on between us? What's happening to us? I can't remember telling anyone that anything is wrong between us. You're doing all this because I have no child for you, right? Then give us a child. Every man prides in his wife's ability to bear him a child. How do you expect me to be happy when there is no child? Do you remember how we started? How we lived with each other? 
worked together, supported each other. When we had nothing, then God decided to, to bless us with this wealth. I was there for you. I stood by you. Can you please stand by me right now because I need you. Have faith in me. I am sure very soon or one day this will be a thing of the past. I don't know what you're talking about. And please, right now, I have a lot running in my head. A lot. As you can see, this marriage is no longer working and um, we always fight, quarrel, shout, and I'm tired. Honestly, I'm tired. But it was working while I was providing for the family, right? Yeah, why did you stop? Why? It was working when you were providing for this family. I made it work when you were providing for this family. Now that I am the one providing for this family, you have to make it work. But no, you won't make it work. Your ego won't let you. Uchu. God knows that you're a very, very industrious woman. These are the qualities I saw in you that made me collapse my business and invested it in yours so you can succeed in what you're doing. I saw how that you wake up every morning and all you think about it's your business and I saw how, how that you, you go out fully for it. Even when my friend Lotana gave me money, I strongly believe in your, in the way you run your business. And I give you the money to also inject it and make it more big for our family. I am not a kind of man who, who wants a housewife that will just sit at home and do nothing. That's why I aided your business. Did I do anything wrong? Are you kidding me? I laugh each time you talk about this business of yours. Which business are you talking about? Your fruitless business? The business that could not put food on our table. The business that could not pay our children's school fees. Are you kidding me? Are you not even ashamed of yourself? I had to send my children to my sister's house so that they can at least feed and go to school from there. I hustled, yes, I know. If not because of my own business, you would have starved in this house. I've been the one feeding you. But since you have decided to put up this your nonchalant attitude, you're going to starve in this house. I am not going to give you food again. So you better get that. You will die, don't worry. I know how to handle you. What you? What about my kids? I can I see them? I, I'm not blaming you. Actually, it's all my fault. I I understand. I don't care whose fault is it. I don't care whether it's your fault or my fault. I don't care. And as for your kids, like really. You want to see your kids? You want your kids here? Your kids that you cannot even feed? 
You cannot even feed yourself, let alone feeding your kids. So you want them to come to this house and start drinking Gary or start eating nonsense. Is that what you want? AGK, you lie. Your plans won't work. I know how to deal with you. I've not even started and you're shedding tears. You shed no nonsense. Ujimi, where are my kids? I want to see them. It's not, it's not your fault. I don't blame you. I blame myself. I don't care whose fault is it. I don't care whether it's my fault or your fault. I don't care. And as for your kids, I should bring my kids to this house. So that what will happen? You can't even feed yourself. Talk more of feeding my own kids. Stop looking at me like that, though. I've not even started. And you're shedding tears. Don't worry. Shago Promise is coming. You're shedding tears. You've not started. Nonsense. I'm tired though. I don't want my voice to be heard. I am tired. I'm not surprised your wife is behaving in the way she's behaving. It's all your fault. Lutana, my fault. Mm -hmm. Lutana, it is my fault because I chose to support my wife mm -hmm. in her choice of business. Don't make it make sense to me. My wife was good at what she was doing, the little business she started, and I decided to support her. Was that how I went wrong? Even the money you gave to me, I injected it into that same little business, and she's doing well. She's yeah. doing fantastic, Lutana. The moment you told me that you gave your wife the money I gave you to start up a business, I knew it. I knew that it wouldn't be long. All these things will start happening. You opened a business for your wife. Meanwhile, you don't have anything doing. Uh, Lutana, but it's not a bad thing. I don't know bad. You know, I, I, I've seen families where the wife is the breadwinner of the family. And they're still living happy. You know what you just said now showed me that you don't even know your wife. Yes. If you find the lost money and take it back to the owner, a lot of people will tag you a wonderful man, a good man. But some other persons will still tag you the most stupid and useless man on earth. So you just have to be certain about the kind of partner you have. But Anna, I, I love my wife. I, I love my wife so much. I, I, I don't see anything wrong in what I did. I just hope she realizes this. You know, just have to let her go. What? Yeah, let her go. You know, you, you guys fight all the time. You guys don't even give each other a break. You just have to do that. I'm even planning to do the same between Benita and I. What? Yeah. Does she challenge you too? Um, you know, her barrenness is making me lose feelings for her. <sighs> Lutana, Benita is, is not God. Benita is not the Almighty that gives children. Give this woman a break. My friend, just, just, just shut up and drink up. Let's go. Hey. Husband, oh, yeah. that's one. He has gone out to drink. Oh. I'm not sure he's coming back anytime soon. Forget about him. Oh. Baby, just look outside. 
Can't you see? <sighs> the weather is so romantic. You know? So inviting. Weather for two. You know? With our raw. You know? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know, I'm here because I'm the only one who can give it to you just the way you like oh, it. Oh, I know. And I can't wait for you to divorce that man and be all to myself. I've already told him. Mm -hmm. I told him that uh, I want a divorce because I, I can't just wait. I, I, I can't wait okay. to be permanently on your bed. How would you do <laughs> 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 You're a baby girl. We have to go. Lay down. My body's on fire. You're on fire. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh. I'm gonna quench it for you, baby girl. You know. That's how we roll, baby. Oh, no. <laughs> baby. Yeah. There's the star yeah. that I saw. Tell me about it's it. called Josina Star. Josina Star. Josina Star. There are some stars oh. that I've not made use of. You've not made use of? Yes. You I'm not. about to devour you. It's a great Kalista. Great Kalista. Great Kalista. Are you sure? Come on, baby. Your son is back. Never. What is it? Never, Mama. Your son is here. And so what? Oh, I welcome. Ah. Mama, what is this? When will you start welcoming me like your son? But until you come. Until you give me a grandchild. Once you give me a grandchild now, if you come in, I will hug you. Mama, why are you like this? Huh? You think I'm happy that I don't have a child? I'm not happy either. You are happy. If you are not happy by now, you must have done the needful. What is it? Oh, again, Ede. Ah! Oh, there is good news. Eh? Yeah? Good news? Yes. Is your wife pregnant? No. But I've impregnated another girl. Hey! Are you serious? I am serious. Eh? Mm. But there is a big problem. 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 When am I alive? Eh? It's now that you will know that your mother is a lioness. Yes! By the time you finish telling me what the problem is, just cool down, watch out, and see how I'm going to handle the problem. Again, eh? Mama, the sister is threatening to abort the child. Sophia, what? Not while I'm alive. Did you hear me? Not when a girl is alive. Such a thing would never happen. You could have come home with her. Let me see who will come here and do fame. Can you hear what the person on? Yes, Mama, that's why I... That's why I'm here. Uh -huh. I want to bring her to you. Good. So you keep an eye on her. Yes. Well, I go ahead and prepare the papers because I want her to give birth abroad. Yeah. You now prove to me that you are taking after your father. Hey, I'm so happy. I'm so proud of you. In fact, I knew that you would make me proud. Before now, I knew it. I'm going to prepare a very delicious meal for you. This night. It's okay. I will bring her tomorrow. Please bring her for me. Let me see my granddaughter. My daughter-in-law. And kiss my grandchild in the womb. <laughs> I'm going to kiss her. Linda, come on, talk to me. Okay, I don't mind getting married to you, if that is what you want. If you want me to give birth to this child, you will have to send me to London. I want my baby to be a British citizen. Oh, I'm even making plans to travel to London. Maybe we'll go together. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. I can do anything to make you happy. So, so, so happy. 
happy. I've always wanted to go to London. You're not only going to visit London. I will make you live in London. Then you visit Nigeria, whatever you want. Please tell me you are joking now. Lotanna Eguatu doesn't play. Okay? Now let me start making calls so you understand what I'm talking about. Oh my god. Yeah. But before then, I would want you to go and live with my mother until the papers are ready. Yeah. But why? You see, I wouldn't want your sister to harm my baby. It's fine. No problem. It's all good. As long as I'm not going to stay there for too long, I don't have a problem. Good. Like, I'll be driving to London very soon. Yeah. My God, my baby! <laughs> Where did you sleep last night? How dare you ask me such a stupid question? It is not a stupid question. I deserve to know why you left the comfort of your bed at home to sleep outside. I am your wife. Hey, stay away from me. Do you understand? I owe you no explanation. And next time, do not ask me such stupid question. Lutana, after keeping me all night worried, this is all you have to say to me. Is that it? Since you cannot bear me a child, then Start learning how to live without me. I cannot die in this agony of childlessness. I cannot. If you're comfortable in it, no, if you're comfortable in it, then so be it. As for me, Take it anymore. Certain decisions we take in life put us in trouble. Put us in trouble. Certain decisions we take in life put us in trouble. When you find the lost money, are you returning to the owner? Some people who don't see You know, it's quite obvious that I have lost him. I feel he has even impregnated another woman out there. Hmm. You know, the heart of a king is in God's hands. God has given you this job and your number one goal should be to keep it. 
fight what you can win and leave the things you cannot win to God. Management, they have been complaining about your mistakes. And you know what that means? Listen, you can't lose two important things in your life at the same time. That will open you up to depression. Yes. I don't know how else to make you digest, to understand and digest this. I don't know how else to make you understand it. I'm just scared of losing him. You know, there is something we ladies fail to understand. There is not in our hands to keep the people that we love to ourselves. Love is a feeling. It's something that you cannot see nor hear. That's why people will do and say things that looks like they mean it. But deep down, they know who they love. And as for me, I love loosely. I shine my energy on things that gives me joy other than love. You know, you sound as if it's that easy. It's not. You have to take it easy with yourself. You know, I almost committed suicide back then in Aoshi. When my first boyfriend broke my heart, I thought it was the end of this world. I thought life would never go on again. But when I managed to survive it, I came across people that love me beyond my own imagination. Even in my marriage, they have broken my heart so many times. But I have decided not to put my energy on love but to channel it on things that matters most to me. I will implore you to do so because it is safer. You just have to hear it from me. But don't get me wrong. That does not mean I don't love. I do. But I love with my sense. You know what they say. That experience is the best teacher. But I tell you, experience is more painful. Think about it. Madam, there's a document I would like you to see, but I'm afraid it may not go well with you. Well, if it doesn't go well with me, I would move on. Life goes on. Hmm. I like that mindset. But before I show you this, madam, I want to ask you a question. Why does your husband hate you this much? What have you done wrong to him? Yes, I have my disputes with my husband. It's normal for every marriage. But I know he doesn't hate me. My only crime is that I'm unable to give him a child. And that's a crime? Um, you people should go to the hospital to know what the problem is now. And probably get a professional advice on how to remedy the situation. We have been to the hospital. As a matter of fact, we've been to several hospitals. <laughs> but my husband, he wouldn't take any of their suggestions or their advices. So tell me, what would you have me do? Hmm, I see. Anyway, madam, just be careful. This is the document.
I wonder why this life is treating me like this. I wonder why this life is treating me like this. My support so bad is now a turn on my flesh. Benita, what, what are you doing here? You, you drank three bottles and you're onto the fourth one. What are you doing here? What's wrong? What is your business? What is your business? I don't understand it. Why is it that people don't like minding their business? Why? What are you doing? I can't believe this. You can't believe it. If you cannot believe it, then you can never believe anything in this world. Look, Bonita, I am your husband's friend, AGK. I know you have things at home to sort out, but you just have to <laughs> come down there. <laughs> hey, Miss Flash. You don't know. Everybody knows that you're having a problem with your wife. Look at you. Have you mended your own family? Eh? Have you mended your own family? Go back home. Make peace with your family. And stop interfering in people's affairs. Now get out. What? Okay, get out. I said get out! Get out! Come on here! I wonder why this life is treating me like this. I wonder why this life is treating me like this. My support so bad is now a ton of my food. Mama, you want to kill me with food? It's, it's good for your baby. Huh? This thing now, after taking it, it's fruits. It will make your baby to be very strong and healthy. Hmm? No, Max. Huh? Thank you. I'm here to serve you. Whatever you want, I will give you. Uh -uh. Just to make you happy. Ma, you're spoiling me too much. Don't worry. I will spoil you more. Huh? <laughs> Asamo. <laughs> That's what I want to eat next. Don't just mention it. Hmm? And it will be yours. To eat them um, fried rice and chicken. Fried rice and chicken. With moe moe mm -hmm. and salad. Hey, mm -hmm. The chico. Good. Even if I cannot prepare it, I will look for somebody who will do it for me. Just eat, eat the food first. <laughs> Lutana, I saw your wife in a bar drinking. What's going on? What? Yes, I am. Are you serious? I, I, yes, of course I'm serious. I saw her drinking in our usual spot. I don't even like the way she was looking. She, she's drinking herself to stupor. I don't even like the way she's looking. She's bittered and saying a lot of things. She even had to embarrass me. What is going on, Lothana? Anyway, those things are not my problem for now, okay? I... I want to give you another money to start up a business. What? You if serious? you want, go home and give it to your wife. Pete, are you serious? Yes. You see, three times have I given you money to start up a business. Those times you've given your wife the money. Meanwhile, you sit at home doing nothing. I don't know what is wrong with you. Huh? It's high time you wisen up. But I am wise. Look, I am wise. I am never going to repeat the mistakes I did in the past. Never. It's not going to happen again. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
It's okay. I have to go now. About your wife, your woman is, she's kind, she's loving. She's the pride of every man. And every reasonable man will want to keep her as a wife. Please, I want you to spare some attention to her and find out what is really bothering this woman, please. No man will ever want to have a barren woman as a wife. You know, your wife has actually given you two kids. No matter how bad your wife is, I mean, she has given you two kids. And that's the prayer of every man. Hmm? Okay, you go ahead and send me your account number before night. Two million naira. Two freaking million naira, Lutana. <laughs> I am back to business. I am back to business. Lutana, what? How, how, how do I even thank you? Where do I begin? You see this paper? This is the first paper. So I have signed my path. I want you to sign yours. Okay? As far as I'm concerned, this divorce paper is illegal. You're still my wife. Young man, it is in your best interest to take this paper and sign them. Do not ever open your mouth to call her your wife again. You don't know what might hit you. I have no business with you, young man. I have no business, absolutely no business with you. Of course, I know how you turned my wife into the Sasha Fias she is right now. Oh. I know. I know how you've been for licking around town with her. But I'll tell you what. She is my wife. And you want to drag her with me. But take this as a piece of advice in the business of the ownership of a woman. No man is victorious or a winner until the woman is no more. But for now, enjoy it while it lasts. That is the only thing you know how to do. Proverbs. Proverbs. That's the only thing you know how to do, AGK. You don't have money. You still, you're still doing your fees. Here's the papers. Sign it! Coco Mele. My sugar oh, bar. My cream bird. <laughs> I love you. I love you more than Let's go. 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 let us go Schooling in one of the most expensive schools in Abuja. 
courtesy of my older sister, who took over your responsibility, taking care of your children for you. Ejike, if you like, bring back our children to this house. Turn them to street hawkers. Let them hawk oranges, pure water, and make money for you because that is the only thing you know how to do. Sit back at home and let people work for you while you enjoy their money. I don't want to say that again. Sign these papers. I'm coming to collect it. Stupid man. Coco So this is true. Huh? You drank yourself to stupor. Huh? This is unbelievable. So unbelievable. Come off it. What are you expecting me to do? Huh? I had to drink away all my sorrows. This is disgusting. Disgusting. <clears throat> What's making it disgusting? Huh. Don't you drink? So, why is my own different? It's alright. If this is what you want to do with your life, <laughs> then suit yourself. Oh, honey. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, you know, it's been long that we had it. Hey, I think you should just me. take me to Come the on. room and just give it to me like a real man that you are. Please. Excuse me. Mm. Mm. Stop, stop. <laughs> Hey, wake mm -mm. up. Wake up. Mm. Wake up. Mm. Abyss. Come on, have it. So this is how you want to end our five years journey? I just have to. I have no option. Since my reaction hurts you, I have to go. Because if I stay, it will never stop. You know, I have always known that you wake up one day and leave me. I'm not surprised. I have sold this house. I only have three months to vacate this place for the rightful owner to take over. <laughs> My barrister already told me. And I guess you sold the house so I would go back to the gutters where you picked me from. Anyway, I have signed my own part of the paper. Sign yours and take it to Barrister for time. Then you can go ahead and live your life however you want. Have a nice life. And you too. And you too. I wonder why this 
Marriage has dealt me a huge blow. How am I going to endure this? How can someone I love more than everyone else in this world leave me and follow another man? Oh God. I wish River Niger is close to me. Is this how you want to end up? My daughter, I don't understand what you meant by this. But I've already assured you that my son is capable of taking care of your sister. Woman, I'm not talking to you. If you want your daughters to end up as second wives, well, that's your business. Come off this. But that's not what I want for my sister. Come off this. What is wrong with you? We can, my dad, we can wish things. But sometimes destiny can go against our wishes. Suppose if she goes to abort this child and dies there, what do you, what would you say? Eh? I know I was a bit harsh on you. But that is because I wanted you to turn out a better person. Sister. I have nothing to regret. I have nothing to regret at all. Good. He's going to take me to London. Obodo Ibo. To have my baby. You can sit there high again. Not just that. I am going there to start a new life. A better life. Yes. And that has been my dream. Mm -hmm. To stop feeling disappointment with someone who is trying to, to, to live in her fulfillment. <laughs> Living in your fulfillment on another person's tears. Living in your fulfillment when a woman is crying. You scattered a marriage and you call it living in your fulfillment. I wonder why I sense disbelief in that teeny weeny statement of yours. Oh well, <laughs> I pity the empty head. The empty head that wants to divorce his wife, a very good wife, to replace you. Sister, are you saying that I'm a bad person? Oh. <laughs> you said so yourself. Nobody's perfect. Now listen, I cannot sit down here and watch you insult my son or talk about my son in that manner. I've told you my son is capable of taking care of her and you have heard it from her. So, that is it. <laughs> no, no. Mm. Time we tell. You see time? <laughs> it will tell. Chris, even sure. Onye makwan mo envy. Anyu ku, onwa eba adero. I will give it to you, okay? Welcome, Ma. Welcome, Ma. And why did you have to open the gates that way? Are you some hungry rascal? Please don't do that next time. Open the gate like someone who ate a proper meal. Good. Thank 
man. I am a great woman. I am the man that will marry her. She's such a nice woman. I don't know why she hasn't given birth yet. And this might be causing problem in the family. My brother has married for 12 years now, yet they have no children. Yet they are still living in peace. She's just like a liability. She doesn't do anything. My yet brother, things are going well. I can even if I marry such a woman, her place in my home, I'm well okay. My brother, listen to me. I wish God can bless me with a woman like her. She's such a good and nice woman. I sit in her. Yes. She's a nice woman. Just unfortunate that it had to be like this. Don't worry, then. Good morning, my good friend. Good morning, Kura. I guess you're having a fine morning, aren't you? Of course, my darling, I am. How come you're not looking like what you told me on the phone? <laughs> guess you were expecting me to wear my divorce papers as a cloak to work. I better still go hang myself because my husband sold the house and went to be with the properties. Come on, honey, I'm above that. God, I was just scared of losing him. And now that I've lost him, I'm not scared of losing anything anymore. Wow. I'm so happy to hear you speak like this. You are strong now. Bold and strong. I guess you are ready to move on with your life. Yes, and there's this friend of mine that's inviting me for a drink or safety. I would like you to go with me. Of course, I would love to go with you, my darling. <laughs> Let us go and have fun. Life is not all about husband and mm. children. Uh -uh. Yes, children. Go and rock it. Let's go and rock it. And rock it. And rock it. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter, <laughs> thank you, ma'am. You look so excited. If there is so a word more than excited, that is what I am right now. <laughs> Did you pick a golden coin on your way? What I picked is more than that. Wow. My son just called me now okay. that he has landed in Obodeo Ibo. Oh, yes. Mama, this is good news. Oh. In fact, not only that, <laughs> mm. I'm expecting my grandchild. Double blessing. This is what we call double blessing. The whole village will hear it. Ha, Mama, I'm so happy for you. Yes, ma'am. Now I see why you were so happy and you were dancing. Mama, give me that song. Let's dance. Hey, what? Jesus. Hey. Thank you, my daughter. Let me go and sing my song in the village. Okay, Baba. All right. <laughs> she looks so happy. Where is the barman now? He's taking time. Waiter, I'm gone. Mm. Okay. Thank you. Please, I want five bottles of any game. Eh? Five what? Five bottles of any game. You're consuming too much alcohol. How? Five is too much for you. How? It's not good for your health. Come on, please. please. One bottle, please. Five, five bottles, please. One, one you and one stop one it. stout. You're no. embarrassing me. No, you are not. I just start drink for Jesus. Who brought you like a For five bottles. That's too much. Five bottles of chili, ma, please. No one, please. One start one, one Hennekin, please. See, we want to come and drink, not to come and kill ourselves because of drink. Too much alcohol is no good. Though. It's poisonous. Yes. Small, small. Please hurry up. <laughs> Benita, you have 
drinking enough already. Huh? Yes. Let's go. Let's go home, please. Do you want to eat the glass cup? Eh? Ready. Good morning, my friend. Hey, Is this the kind of life you want to start living now? Eh? What would you have me do? It's not even up to a month. That he left you and you want to turn your life upside down. I just want to be happy. Do you want when he sees you tomorrow, he will believe that he made the best decision leaving you? Is that what you want? Like I said, I just want to be happy. Happiness that comes from the bottles comes with destruction. Do you want to be happy and useless? Not at all. Then, use your tongue to count your feet. Get ready. Let's go to the hospital. Yeah? Do I need to go to the hospital? Of course. This way you are living is not the best for you. It's not. You don't want to get addicted to alcohol. This is what Lutana has told me to. This is what he did to me. A man that I rejected so many men to be with. I know. I know it's not easy. But you will be fine. Lutania will surely pay for this. I swear he will pay for every single pay that he has cost me. No, 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 no. Please. <gasps> oh, God. It's okay. Don't cry. God will make a way for you. You will be fine. Everything will be fine, okay? Did you get the file? I sent you an email. Um, actually, I am just coming back from the hospital. Yes, I saw the file, but what's it all about? Um. Before I tell you what the file is all about, madam, there is something I'd like to discuss with you. Okay, what is it? Um, it's about your recent love for alcohol. You know, I don't know why you started drinking, but 
But madam, are you aware that those reasons won't matter when addiction starts dealing with you? You see, the truth is that I've learned my lessons. But I don't know where to channel my frustrations. Oh, channel it into making more money. Yes. And you can get addicted to more work. Look at your office. Make more money. Instead of channeling them into things that contains narcotics. You understand? Avoid things that will make you get into a, a dirty future that will be filled with regret. Just my thought. Thank you so much for your concern. Now back to the file. What's the content? Well, the file contains something interesting that you would like. So I suggest you go home and open it and read. Well, if you prefer a hard copy, I'll get it for you. I think I prefer the hard copy. Okay. A minute, please. Girl, guess what I saw today? What did you see? You can't believe this. Believe what? Why won't I even believe it? I mean, the things that seem impossible are happening these days. I can't be moved anymore. Anything could happen on earth. Darling, you are becoming too mean with life. But not to worry. I am here to help you heal. Please out with it. Spill it out. Oh, okay. did you see? Um, our company is sending some staffs to a training program in Canada. And what about it? What does that have to do with us? Because our name happens to appear on the board. For real? No, you're joking. I'm not joking! Our names are out, my darling. We are traveling to Canada. For real. No, you're joking. I'm not joking. I saw one. <laughs> you're joking. I'm not joking. God, you are joking. I'm not joking. Ah! Canada, here we go. Oh, my God. I can't wait. My God. Exactly. I don't we, even we love need it. to pop champion on this. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Ah, wait, wait. Let me get it. Calm down. <laughs> Traveling by next week, and I'll be handing over my properties to you. I do not want to hear stories, please. <laughs> Madam, over the years I've shown you efficiency. You need to have faith in me at this point. You need to. You're right. I might be staying there permanently. I will only visit Nigeria when I want to come and see my people. Oh. It's fine. If that's how you feel and that's what you want, I wish you good luck. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I will be letting you know if you're to sell any property at all. That's if it's necessary. It's okay, ma'am. I'm at your service. So what do I offer you, my bad? Oh, that. Um, a sweet juice will be fine. Really? Yes. I trust you. <laughs> Patience is a vision. It's not only come from devil, it's a devil inside. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So please take away worry from your life. Cause patience does it the farthest both. No one on devil, you know, it's better than the angel you never see. No, no, no. I hope there's no problem. Mama. This one you are looking like this. Huh? Mama, it's a long story. Uh, yes. Don't worry, let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. Don't worry. Lotanna, it's been over seven years now that I've not heard either from you or from Linda. 
I've been worried. I have prayed. In fact, I'm so tired that I have to leave everything for God. Darling, that girl is a demon. God forbid. The devil wanted to use her to end my life. God forbid! The God of the widows will not allow her to succeed in taking my only son. And I immediately we got into London. That lady dealt with me. Eh? That little girl? She stole all my money. Jesus. Aborted the pregnancy. Hell! And ran away with a white man. That little girl did all this to you? Yes, Mama. You know, she's, she's more than what I thought. That girl is a demon. You know, when I tried to find her, she set me up. Hey, woman. You know, planted a drug somewhere in the house and called the police on me. Hey. They arrested me and then um, prisoned me. You went through all this. I almost died inside the prison. But I thank God, God did a wonderful work in my life and oh. saved me. This all same way. Then after then I did. They have to deport me back to Nigeria. You hey, want me make a long one? Thank God you're back. Thank God you are back oh, for me. If not for any other thing. Eh? You are welcome, my son. Hey. Mama, Women. Mama, okay, Kimi. Now I'm, I'm very fine. I'm so happy seeing you now. Eh? So this girl did all this to you. How? Mama, why these are not what they seem to be at all. Nam. I feel like crying. They get dirt with you. Hey. Yes, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm fine. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Um, next time, please try and, you know, look where you're going to. It's okay. All right. Ah, you should get going now. Ah, ah, sorry. I'm listening. No. No. Mama, I'm here. Life has taught me that the only hopeless point in life is the point of death. Something can still be done. Yes. 
I know you want me to get a wife. Bam! You're no longer a baby. All you need to do is to look for a good girl in this community. We still have good girls who can help you build your home and even give you a child. Eh? Mama, I'm going to get a wife, but I have to take it easy. I'm going to take it easy for now. Ah. Yes. My son, Matakwa. There is no longer no time on your side. You can see you are no longer a small child. All you need is to get a responsible girl in this village who can respect you and give you children. That's what you need. Mama, not that I don't want to get married, or not that I've not seen girls, I mean beautiful ones in this village. I want to. But I can't just jump into a relationship now. Not too soon. Can you just listen to yourself? How old do you think you are now? Eh? You, you need to cool down and get married to a responsible girl. Please, I'm just telling you this thing now. For you to sleep over it and wake up with something very tangible. So that we'll know how to, to, to go a, a, about it. The one that went to London. Yes, I remember that name. Yes. How did you know? <laughs> your mother. You know, when you left, your mother went around the village telling everybody that cares to listen. That my son has traveled, my son has traveled. So the name rings a bell. What happened? When did you come back? Um, not too long ago. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so may I know you? My name is Ifunaya Igwe, the daughter of Iche Udekwe. Oh. I'm divorced. The Guinea? You're divorced? Yep. How? Who on earth would want to divorce a beautiful lady like you? Eh? Or did you not get a child for him? Of course I did. I gave him two beautiful kids. Two? Yes. Nikwe Nanya Bikunu. <laughs> Are you still this beautiful? <laughs> you want some money now? <laughs> you know what they say? Beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. Huh? Hey. Hey, you see, I, I find you appealing. Yes. Can we be friends, please? I thought you are married. Um, that's a long story. That's a long story. Tell me about that. I want to hear your story. Okay. Um, it's all about... Um... Lota, mm -hmm. I found you a wife. Mm -hmm. well, so soon. I, I don't understand what you mean by so soon. There is no more time. The girl will be coming here this weekend though. And by next week, we will go and pay her bride price. Oh, stop saying that. Go and pay whose bride price? Somebody I know or somebody I do not know. Why are you talking like this? Mama, I'm supposed to know her. Let her come first. Let me see her. Know the kind of person she is. You know, mingle with her, call, do some courtship with her, and then we can now start talking about making her my wife. Mm -hmm. Lotana, you lied. You see this girl, you must marry her. All the time you have been marrying people you love, what has been the outcome? Uh, Lotana, now that I have, I have tried to find this girl to help you arrange your life, now that I'm strong, look at the way you are sounding. Huh? Ma, the thing there is that I do not have a job. Uh -huh. So what if I go to marry her? What do I feed her with? Don't what you know. Okay, okay, now. Now that I don't have a job, what am I going to use in paying her bride price? Don't and you. even feed her after marriage? That's why I say you should not worry. I will go to women's meeting and borrow money from them. As for feeding, God will provide. Hmm. Now just listen to yourself. 
What if after the wedding and she tells me, Sweetheart, I am hungry. I need to eat. I will tell her, My baby, don't worry. God will provide. It sounds funny. But Anna, try to understand. In this our community, I've seen cripples. I've seen blind people get married to ladies in this our community. And we still have good ladies in this community. They are still there. Not to talk about somebody, a healthy young man like you, that is not, that, that, that is not handicapped. There are so many good girls in this community that you won't can marry. And they will sit down and, and change your life. And even help you build your life. Stand on your feet, if I'm not uh, uh, mistaken. So, just accept it. Let us try it. I know. Before we <sighs> After listening to your story, I still think you need to go back to the city and look for something doing. Yes, that is the best decision. You're right. But the thing is that I don't have money with me now. Okay, um, like, how much do you need to go back to the city? I don't know, I don't know. I don't even know where to start again. I don't know. Lotana, I like you a lot. I mean, you are practically the envy of every girl in this village. But still, you need to go back to the city and look for something doing. After then, you can get any woman of your choice. Okay? I will. I will. If I see money. Don't worry. I will support you with 50,000 naira. 50 guinea? Yeah. 50,000 naira? Yes. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Mm? Thank you. I just want you to get back to your feet. Okay? And I promise you, in due time, you will definitely come back to your feet. Okay? It's okay. It's Thank you so much. It's okay. To have peace of mind. I will never leave you alone. My sons, give me a grandchild. It's not too much to ask. If he can't get it, he can't Lota, what are you doing? Why are you packing your clothes? Oh, I'm going to the city. Is it not too urgent? Your wife will be coming here tomorrow. Well, if she comes, let her wait. If she cannot wait, let her go and marry. Lotana, I suffered for you, Lota. I spent all my money and time to make sure that you are useful. But you want to be useless, Lotanna. Not what I need now. I need your prayers. You have to be praying with me. I should continue to be praying for you. Can't you pray for me? I need prayers too. If you must live here, it means you have to beat me first. Enano. Enough is enough, Lotanna. Mama, are you are you are you locking the door on me? Mama, tell me the door. 
If you must leave here, Lothar, you must beat me first before you leave this house. Mama, wait, Mama, I don't want to fight you. Wait, you are not going anywhere. Enough is enough, Lota. Enough! You must beat me first, Lota. You must beat Mama, me first. Like I just leave, leave to our feet. I don't want to. I don't want to drag this thing with you. Mama, Mama. Hey, <laughs> Ma, are you locking the door, me? Mama, open this door. Open this door. I want you to come to my house now, right away. My son wants to see you. Mama, right away? Right away. No, no, no. As I'm talking to you now, he's at home. Ah. Mama, my, my mother sent me on an errand. So, can I just go and report to her, then I will come? Uh -huh. Yes. Are you sure you will Mama, come? Mama, will you? I'll be waiting for you. Before you know it, I'll be there. I'll be waiting. Okay. Please, don't keep me waiting. Mama, I will come. I just told you I will all come. Right, all right, all right. Perfect. Fine girl. Luta, Luta. Hey. The door that I locked. Eh? This boy has opened this door and ran away. Who knows where he went to? Eh? What kind of war like this? Who is doing this to me? The enemies are hell bent in destroying my son. But God, your power is more than them. I know they will not succeed. They will not. Hey! Chimo! Help! Chinaike! What did I do? I did it wrong to now. This is unbelievable. Lotana, you mean that little girl did that to you? My brother, I almost died in the jail. My God, the only God that ain't saved me. Hi! You see, the Tana Pifugoniano, this is why I just, you know, remove my hands from anything that has to do with women entirely. These people are bad, they are wicked. Since Oganoju reduced me to nothing, since then I house of anything woman, I come out the royal. Are you saying you've not married since then? Ha! Nebe one. How? I don't feel attracted to any woman again. Haba, Lotana, you know how much I love Obiano Ju. I can never, ever be able to love another woman the way I loved her. What if her children, did you bring them back? No. Obianuju took them to her sister. Well, I... I tried by saying that she's properly taking care of them. And I'm not buoyant enough to take care of those kids. I had to let her do the job. As a matter of fact, Lutana, she enrolled them into one of the best schools in Abuja. Most expensive schools. As I'm speaking to you right now, they are in the United States. Hmm. Schooling. Do you still contact them? Tana, you know that's not visible considering 
Considering how everything is right now, I cannot afford that airtime to call international numbers. I, I'm just trying to put myself together and, and bring back the pieces of my life together. Real Tana, I am broke. I just want to find my feet and move on with my life again. Anyway, I'm so sorry about that. As for me, I want to stay here and um, get a job. I start again. Nice. But Tanda, that's a perfect plan. It's, it, if not, if not that my business is not doing well, I would have asked you to join my business. And then I'm sorry, but you know, the business we started with little capital. If you come in, we will struggle, die. It's okay. I will find a job here definitely, and um, you know, save up some little money for myself and start up a business of myself. You know. With that, I can, can look out something. I trust you, Lutana. But you're, you're free to stay here. Lutana, stay in this house until you're perfectly fine oh. and ready to move out, honestly. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Oh, come on. Lutana, you helped me when no one agreed to help me. Lutana, you stood by me. You are the reason why I am still here. I will have gone back to the village. Okay. Have you forgotten? Oh. oh, come on now, Lutana. Nothing is too big for you. Nothing. You are a kind man, and God will bless you. I am very sure. Thank you. But I wouldn't have allowed you to go back to the village. I wouldn't have allowed you to go back Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Thank you, Lutana. Right. Nice to keep us strong. You <laughs> need to go back to the village. Adana! Adana! Get me your sis! Adana! 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 Where are you going to dress this beautiful? Hey, hey. It looks like you are going to see a man. Uh, you're not far from the truth. I said it. Mrs. Ego told me that her son is interested in me. He wants to see me. Wow. So I'm going there. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Are you serious? Yes, no. That guy is handsome. You can say that again? Yes. Mm -hmm. Have you actually heard from the horse's mouth? Uh -uh. That's where I'm going right now. No? You know what it means when a handsome man like that is, is picking interest in you? Uh -uh. I want him to look me into the eyes and say me that I am. I don't know I'm in love with you. Wow. That will make my week. Yes, now. Well, well, hold a minute. He's not around. I saw him on a bike going to the market and he was carrying a bag. What do you mean by that? Why are you like this now? His mom just told me that uh, 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 um, he's at home. That she come now, now, now. You're telling me that he. Uh, what are you saying again? I don't know, my friend. I am not lying. I saw him leaving. And it looks like he's traveling. Yeah, I can't lie to you. Daberechi, why do you hate to see smile on my face? Hmm? Why? Eh, yeah, hold it there. Get going. Oh. I don't know. I'm going to go. I will never let you. To have peace of mind, I will never leave you alone, my son. Give me a grandchild, it's not too much. I'm here. I'm What kept you so long? Mama is my mother. Oh. She wouldn't let me go. I'd be running errands for her, that's why. I called you so you, my son will see you and know how beautiful and uh, homely you are. Huh? I thought you could have followed me immediately. Mama, I'm sorry for wasting time, but now I'm here now. Ah, he's not around now. Um, Honoria, uh-huh. Mama, he's gone out already. Yes, he, he, he stepped out. But he will soon be back. Can I just wait for him? Mm, no, you don't have to wait. Because uh, 
You have to go. Once it's back, I will send for you. Okay, if you say so. But I hope you're no longer angry with me. Adam now. Well, I, I was I was disappointed, but, but it's okay. Don't send that no problem. Sorry. You are welcome. Sorry. Mm. This is bad. Okay, let me just get going. Maybe when he's back, he'll just call me, I'll come back. And once he's back, I will send for you. Alright, mama, bye-bye. Alright, bye-bye. Alright. I don't care how you get up for a need a child. One year for the go. But you need my mother, the rough mom. My culture, wrong one. One year, Jerome. She need a grandchild. Oh, oh, echo, Jerome. One. Good evening, my ma. Oh, you get? You're back already. Oh, yes, I am. How are you? Yeah, good, man. How far? How did it go today? Any good news? Not really, not really, but we'll get again tomorrow. Okay. <clears throat> that reminds me. I met a friend of mine. He told me a certain lady is uh, looking for a driver. So I told him to keep the position while I, I will talk to my friend and get back to him. So I don't know if you'll be interested. Why not? Why not? At least that would be a, a first start for me, you know. Even if the pay is not good, I don't mind. I can be doing it till I get a better job. Yeah, that, that, that works. Well, get ready in the morning. I will talk to him. He will come here and pick you up. All right. All right. Very good. All right. Very good. Right. Come on. I'm so tired. Let me go rest my head a bit. Have you eaten? Yeah, I'll sort myself of out. I'll, I'll, I'll find Oh. Oh, nice one. Don't mind, I need money now. The pay, the, my brother, the pay makes sense for you. The pay makes sense, 100k. Aye! And it could simply have. How much? 100k. Don't take me again, don't take me again. You go like, I already tell you. Don't take me again. You took one thing, I put you the one. You took one thing. Are you telling me what to do? No, I, I get one. So I should now. come down and go. No, I get one. I said, you took one thing. What did you do that one thing? I don't need to tell you now. One thing, but you go like, I'm going to educate your guy and my man. Yeah. So as you tell me, I say, okay, they can help you for this one. This place is... This, this I, place. I, I, I know this come. place. So. That's just where you go enter that street. I know this place. This side. Boy, I got educated them, you see. You know they stay this side. I before. know this place. Wait, where exactly are which uh, driver? This street now. This street now. Here we can enter. I guess more small. We don't the... Now that house way there front now. The money you they think I've been at the estate, which one? No think I'm, no think I'm. The man, the man, you gonna accept you, no think I'm. You gonna accept you. Just smile, you gonna accept you, sharp, sharp. I have small, 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 uh, uh, not here. Small, uh, you don't do now, girl. Wait. Now this house. This is where we're going to. Yes, now this house, now you find a bit. This house? Yes. No, I can't walk here. Ah, uh, which one you can't walk here? I can't walk here. Come back, let's go. No, it's 100k. I said I can't walk here now. Hey. Oh, well, you cannot tell me that I used to do it. I got to go now. I thought I could go back. Who 
nothing happened now. Why not walk here? Nah. Nah, don't stress me today. I don't leave my work when they show you house. You say I can't walk here. I don't understand. You don't make sense, so I know they like this kind of thing. Now you go pay this cake, man. I know they pay. Uh -uh. Thank you. No. Told me you didn't want to accept the job. I was with my friend a while ago and he told me you didn't even enter the house. You can't believe what's happened. What is it? I mean, we're talking about a hundred thousand naira job. What could go wrong? A hundred thousand naira job for a driver. Yes, that's what my friend told me. Look, not that was that for my house. What? Yeah. Are you, are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. You don't know how I feel seeing that. I don't know how I'm going to feel being a driver in a house I owned before now. Hey, but Rotana, I understand. I know how embarrassing it is. I know how you feel. But we're talking about a hundred thousand naira job monthly. And yes, you told me you sold that house to a housing company. And then, I am sure you don't know anyone living in there right now. So you just go there, work and cash out. That's it. I can do What do you do here? Um, I'm looking for a job of a driver. Now you go stand there, you know, knock for gate, make an open gate for you. Yes, I was about knocking before you now open the gate. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, come inside, come inside. Come, 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 come. Come in, come in. He won't apply for the job of a driver, so I can't come inside and come see you. Good day, man. Okay. Sorry, my name is Dotanna. A friend told me about the driving job. So I decided to come and try my luck. 
I see. So, have you had experience in driving? Oh yes, very well. How long? I've been driving over 15 years now. 15 years? Do you have any proof? Oh yes, a lot. A lot. Trucks. Like a truck, you know. Thank you, one minute. It's okay. It's okay. Mr. Lutana. Honestly, I am impressed. I'm very impressed with what I am seeing here. So you worked as a taxi driver abroad? Oh yes. This one is for Kekan Toki. Yeah. I had like three Keke in Toki. Why did you come back? I believe life over there is much more better than what we have here. Yeah, that is what people think, but it's not the way they think. It's, I had the bad issues anyway. I'm sorry about that. I'm so sorry. Well, Mr. Lutana. No. Honestly, I am impressed. I'm so impressed with what I am seeing here. You know, a lot of people have been coming for this work. I think maybe because of our mouth-worthy salary. But from everything I've seen in the past, I think you are the only one qualified for this job. And I will say congratulations, you got yourself the job. Mr. Lotana, oh, no. I said, Congratulations, you got the job. Oh. Thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you. You're welcome. Bless you too. Um, I'll be paying you 100,000 Naira. And we'll also be paying for your health insurance. You will also have a room here. That is if you want to be staying with us here. Mr. Lotana, did yes, you hear what I said? Oh, yes. Thank you so much, are you? Oh, you don't seem happy. You don't like the salary or? No, I like it. It's nice. Okay. I appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. So you can resume tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Are you sure you are okay? Perfect. Mr. Latina. Tana, why, why is your face like this? Why are you looking miserable? Didn't you get the job? I got the job. And you should be jumping up in excitement. What's this face you're putting up? Or is the salary not up to what you expected? A hundred thousand naira salary, a free health insurance scheme, and an apartment in the house. Wow. What more can a job seeker ask for? This is beautiful. But why are you then looking like this? What more do you want? Educate being a driver in the same house that I owned before now. No matter how much they're going to pay me, I will never be excited. 
a price for my sin. Lutana. I have messed up my life. No love has eluded me. Um, my ladies, no, this is for you, Joy. You'll be taking you to school henceforth. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you? Yeah, fine. May we know your name? My name is Mr. Lutana. Where are you from? Kamsi, there is no time for this. Mm. Huh? You are almost late to school. Huh? So you have to go to school. Mm. Mommy, mm. this man is too serious. I don't like him. He doesn't smile. Oga, smile, Pano. You want people want to smile? Please stop scaring my kids. You're not seeing my teeth, I'm smiling already. I did not say I want to see your teeth. I just don't, I don't like the way you're just looking too serious. It's okay. I will stop looking too serious. Mr. Lotana, please, you have to be very friendly with my kids. I don't joke with them. So, sweetheart, mm. you're almost late. So please, up, up, up. Oh. Mommy, we'll see you later. You're leaving just like that. Oh, no. Bye. Bye. Come here. Here, here, here. Love you. Bye. Be good. Don't play too much. Okay. All right, bye bye. Bye. Okay, Mr. Lotana, please drive safely. It's okay. Adana. Yes, Mama. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, Mama. You're welcome. Well, the last time I saw you fetching water, I felt so bad. I said to myself, today I must bring water for you. Yeah. Yes. That's so thoughtful of you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Oh, Mama. You're welcome. God will bless you. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Hey, Mama, let me just go and get something. I'll be back. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. I'll be Thank back. you. Okay. Eh? All right. God bless you. No? Oh, okay. Bye bye. I wish Lutana, my son, will marry this girl and bring her to me. I will be the happiest if this girl will be my daughter-in-law. See how humble she is. Hey, yeah. Adana, my friend, you've been avoiding me. When you know that I'm the only one in this village that can tell you the truth. Tabera, I'm not avoiding you. I saw you running errands for that woman. But I'm not against it. But I hope you're not expecting too much. So that when your expectation didn't come true, you won't get hurt. This is exactly why I'm having issues with you. 
It's as if I'm avoiding you. Why do you so much believe in negativity? Why? What makes you think that something will go wrong? Yeah? I don't know. Nobody prays for bad things, but bad thing happens. You know what? Let me tell you the truth once and for all. I'm avoiding you. So please, do well to avoid me too. I'm just warning you for the last time. Oh, Adana, you're walking out of me. You see, people hate me. People that tell them the truth. I'm telling her the truth. I think so, Oju Oju Oju, why are you looking like this? What happened to you? Nothing, I'm fine, I'm okay You, you cannot say you are fine You look sick, are you sick? I'm fine you're not fine. You, you can't be fine. How many Just times to... have I told you to stay away from my family? How many times? How many times? Stay away from my family. Stay away from my family. Now you get out. Get out from here. Is that you? <laughs> I have messed up my life. Now love has eluded me. I have messed up. Come back here. Now stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. stand there. I promise, I stand there, I stand there. I did not talk to him, I did not talk to him. So why did you stop talking to him when I came back? He, he, he was actually the one that spoke to me. I did not say a word, I did not say anything. I will deal with you. When next Forgive me. Get it out, get it out, get it out. Nobody find me worthy anymore. Nobody find me worthy. Nobody find me worthy anymore. Nobody find me worthy Happen. This one where you just bend that for a car, you they think. I don't understand. Wait, wait. See, it's where you enter this compound, they walk. I just did, they watch you. I say, as you they do, you they behave like a person, you maybe say, you get problem. See, I want to ask, you get any problem where you feel like, say, you get problem, you feel share with me, or you feel tell someone else. See, Together, me and you feel find solution to your problem. Uh, yes, I have a problem. <laughs> but I cannot share it with you. Sir? Yes, I cannot share it with you. You see? Don't bother yourself. Hmm? Uh -huh. yeah. Wait, uh, say, okay, no problem. But you feel tell madame your problem. See, make I tell you, madame is a very good woman. Madame feel to help you solve your problem. You understand? Just tell her, madam. Don't worry. Huh? I will be fine. Okay? Ah. Okay. Okay. 
Ah, ¿Por qué no Sí. Eh. No problem. As you don't talk, no, no problem. I won't go buy the seat for this uh, woman shop. If I did not divorce my wife now, we would have been in this house. But now, I can't do anything. Maybe Kama just brought me back to punish me for my stupidity. Kama just brought me back here. Punish me. My stupidity. See my house. We have been living here together by now. Lutanna. Lutanna. This one, your face is like this. I hope there is no problem, Ada. Yeah, Mama, there, there is a problem. Huh? There is something I have meaning to ask you. My daughter, go ahead. I'm all ears. As you can see, I am with you here. Mm, you, you told me that your son will be coming to ask for my hand in marriage. Up to this moment, I've not seen him. Ada, don't get yourself worked up. Huh? He went to the city to do one or two things, something important. He will soon be back. Ma, this is not what you told me. This is not what we discussed now. It's not what you told me. Don't worry. My son will come back for you. Then when? Because, oh? Mama, Mama, the thing now is that Mama will be thinking that it, I'm the one scaring him away. Mama, it's taking too long now. Ada, don't worry. Eh? I will come and see your mom. I will come and see your mother. And no one. Because you know. Mm, let me just go. Let me go. Hey. Adam. All I Adam, want baby. Is a grandchild. I you don't care how you get it. What is holding you? When huh? you want to go. Mama, my daughter. How are you? I'm fine, Mama. Hey, yeah. If Unaya. I heard that uh, you helped my son financially when he was back home here. Mama, how did you know that? My dear, the heir has ears. <coughs> Mama, don't lie to me. The heir did not tell you anything. Yes, I know that one of my friends told you that. Okay, which means it is true. Mm. Huh? 
So please tell me, when is my son coming back? Mama, mm -hmm. he is your son. Mm -hmm. I should be the one asking you when he is coming back. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ever since my son traveled, he hasn't called me even for one day. But I believe he has my number. Well, maybe he has not gotten a new phone, but I believe when he does, he's going to call you. Okay? Okay. Mama, don't worry. He will call you. Hmm? Please, in case he, he calls you first, tell him to please try and reach me. Eh? He should come back and do the needful. I, I can't wait to have you as my daughter-in-law. You know now. <laughs> Mama, you are so funny. Mama? <laughs> Mama, you are very funny. Yes, you are very, very funny. Mama, I was actually on my way going to that shop to get something. I will see you later. Okay. <laughs> Do the need for Mama, you are funny. <laughs> Take this. Go to the supermarket down the street and get me the items on the list. No, sir. Sanitary pad? Yes, sanitary pad. You see a problem? No, I, I didn't say there's any problem. No. It's okay. No, I want to know if there is something wrong with you getting me sanitary pad. Oh, at least I won't buy it. It's okay. I've said this before. It is part of your job as a driver to run errands. That is because you'll be using the car to run the errands. Do I make myself clear? Yeah. Good. Then run along. I don't know if this man is beginning to feel too big for this job. I'll send you back to where you came from. Since you told me that your son will be coming to ask for my hand in marriage, I've not heard from him. I've not set my eyes on him. I've not even, I've not set my eyes on him. Adana, he's very much interested. Just that he traveled, he will soon be back. Just give him a little time. Because um, you know? Um, Mama, it's, it's, it's just that someone else is asking for my hand in marriage. Oh. Hey, well. So, what do you want me to do now? Eh? Okay, okay. When is he coming? When is he coming to see my people? When? He will soon be back. Hi. Eh? Because my, my daughter, he will soon come back. Okay, do you want me to pay your bride price while we are waiting for his return? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mama, no, 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 I don't want it like that. I told him, mm -mm. Mama, I, I want to talk with him. I want him to look into my eyes and tell me how much he loves me. Mama, mm -hmm. one thing I don't want is being in a marriage where I am not accepted. Eh? At the end of the day, there will be no way out. Mama, I just want to talk. I just want him to say something to me. That's all. I understand you. But all I want you to know is, there's no two ways about it. You are my daughter-in-law. You see, my grandchildren are in your womb. This is your womb here. Yeah. They are all there. Eh? Mm, well, the, the thing here is he don't even know when he's coming back. He keeps saying he will, he will, he will. Mama, you don't even know. 